34-year-old woman comes into a celiac specialty clinic. She was diagnosed with celiac disease a year earlier from her doctor, put on a gluten-free diet. She didn't feel any better, so she went to a specialty clinic. At the specialty clinic, she presented, and she had a failure to thrive. She was the shortest girl in the class. She didn't get her periods until she was 15. She was always anemic, literally always anemic. She had chronic fatigue at 34. Her hair was falling out. She had osteoporosis at 34. She was just a mess, and her skin wasn't very good. They did blood tests. Her antibody loads were sky high. So if the antibody loads are sky high, what does that tell you? Total villus atrophy, right? Endoscopy, total villus atrophy, the worst possible. High risk of osteoporosis, she already had osteoporosis. High risk of lymphoma. Madam, you must be gluten-free. I have been for a year, completely. Well, you know, I had a piece of cake about six weeks ago and a couple of croutons on a salad, maybe. No, no, completely. She said, okay, okay. So she went completely gluten-free, comes back a year later, her blood tests are now high normal or just over in the high range as opposed to sky high. Her energy's up a little bit. Her hair loss has stopped. She still has osteoporosis. That hasn't changed at all. Her skin's not any better. Um, um, and her cycles were still bad. Blood tests, high normal or just over. But the endoscopy, still. Total villus atrophy. Still, a year later. Madam, you must be gluten-free. I have been gluten-free. Completely, completely, and they scanned her, she had been. They checked her diet, she really had been working on it for a year, that's why she had some improvements. And they were about to call it refractory sprue, which means, well ma'am, it's a fancy word meaning we don't know, but it's refractory sprue, right? And then a really sharp doc said, madam, are you a religious woman? She said, well, I go to church every day. She was a nun in street clothes. It was the communion wafer. Madam, you must give up the wafer. I will not. God would not allow it. Sorry, we can't help you. So she left. And they wrote the paper, a milligram of gluten a day keeps the mucosal recovery away. A case report. Unbeknownst to them, the bishop made her go gluten-free. She came back 18 months later. She was radiant, a full head of hair, energy like she had never had in her life, an entire new lease on life. I'm not exaggerating. An entire new lease on life. Blood test, low normal. Everything normal. Endoscopy, completely normal. So then they went to the bishop. They got a wafer. And you know how they break it to serve a person? So they took pieces of the wafer to see how much gluten's in the wafer. And what did they find? A 30 milligram fragment of wafer, and that's about the size of each of these, a 30 milligram fragment of wafer contains approximately 0.5 milligrams of gluten. That's one uh, of gluten. That's one milligram of gluten. How much is that? Cut a thumbnail in half. Cut it in half again. That's a quarter. Cut it in half again. That's an eighth. An eighth of a thumbnail is a milligram of gluten. That's how much it took to give her total villus atrophy.